Alright, I want to talk to you about the foolishness of atheism and how atheism is just foolish. Now, I'm a former atheist, so I know what atheism is like. I've been through that, been there, done that, seen that, all the other stuff. But the reason why atheism is foolish is the fact of, just again, the nature, you know. Go out into creation. Go out in the woods, go out in the lakes, where I was in the lake earlier today. Uh, go out there. You know, look at the amazing uh, design of the trees, look at the amazing design of the water, the just the very amazing detail. And you think it all just happened by chance, by itself, from a big explosion. Yeah, it's foolishness, okay? You're a fool. There's no nice way to put it. You are a fool, okay? Go out and to the uh, the canyons, go out, just go out in the oceans, look at the vast life there, you know, and you think it all happened by chance, sure. Atheism is foolish, there's a reason why the Bible says the fool says it says in his heart there is no God. It is foolish to believe that this all happened by chance and there is no intelligent design, no divine creator. Again, I was at the lake earlier today and just the, uh, just the nice design of the water, the clear water, the just... I have just a, uh, how's, what the, the system, the, the, uh, the ecosystem, really, really good. I mean, didn't see any fish, but either way, you're a fool if you believe this all happened by chance. So again, I'm a former atheist, okay? I know what it's like, but you're a fool. That's simple. Uh, the, um, the, uh, system in order, the, you know, the ecosystem, the digestive system, all the systems, you know, the, the, what's it, the, uh, uh reproductive system, all that stuff, the fact that the, the human life, the, the, uh, life, I'll put it that way, is in it all kinds of systems, is, it proves intelligent design. System proves order, and order proves intelligent design. So don't be deceived by atheism. I want to talk to you about how the vast ocean life just destroys atheism, and destroys this notion that there is no divine creator. Because you look at the ocean life, I, and I talked about this in another video, but you look at the ocean life, you look at the uh, design of the creatures, you look at the unique uh, characteristics, you just look at the the uh, the uh, design, the, the model of the characters, you just look and you think, there's got to be an intelligent design, because uh, some of the creatures just look like stuff out of a sci-fi movie, other than, uh, some of them look alien, some of them just look really, really cool. And when I was an atheist, I thought, oh, this all happened by chance. You know, I, I, I believed, I was kind of more of an agnostic, sorry, because I, I kind of believed there was a creator, but really I just, 
you know, I, I really was leaning towards there not being a crater. But I look back at that, I'm thinking, wow, what a fool I was. Because you look at the ocean life and how the creatures, they, they know what to do, they, they know how to survive, everything like that. They are, you know, some of them are smart, some of them are not, obviously. Like sharks are not smart. But you just look at that and you think, you know, if, if you think this all happened by chance from a big explosion, that's ridiculous, okay? Uh, there's uh, the system of order, the, the ocean system, the ecosystem, all that stuff, proves intelligent design. The, the system of, systems of order, I'll say it this way, prove intelligent, intelligent design. That's simple. So again, look at the vast ocean life, the uh, just very, very, I'll say diverse ecosystem, and it just totally destroys this notion of there's no creator and just destroys this foolish notion of atheism. So uh, yeah, don't be duped by atheism. God bless you. Goodbye.